Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is CK and my channel is Seekology. Finally, Malaysian borders are open to international tourists. In my opinion, most people visit Malaysia, they just stay in big city like Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia is actually made of a lot of beautiful small town, picturesque small towns set against backgrounds like beautiful beaches, mountains, plantation, and beautiful lakes such as this one. In this video, I am going to bring you to the top 10 most beautiful, charming small town here in Malaysia because these small towns are the perfect way you can observe our Malaysian way of life. Here are my top pick. Number 10, Kuala Selangor, state of Selangor. This historical town is located on the northwestern side of Selangor and it's approximately 70 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Selangor was the first state capital of Selangor. Situated in the town center, Malawati Hill is a historical hill dotted with several unique landmarks such as the Altingburg Lighthouse built in the 18th century. Kuala Selangor is one of only seven places on earth where you can take the sky mirror pictures. Emerging for only a few days each month and for a few hours each day, the sky mirror is actually a seabed that appears above water during low tide, exposing an expansive sand flat. This attraction has recently went viral with the locals and tours are plentiful but do book ahead. Number 9, Bale Pulau, State of Penang. Bale Pulau literally means the other side of the island in which the town is situated on the island of Penang. Life takes a slower pace and quieter approach here. If you are looking for a more laid-back place and want to get closer to untouched nature away from crowded tourist trap, head here. Bale Pulau is an underrated destination and does not get the credit it deserves. Get your camera ready. This hidden gem is blanketed by lush greenery, vast paddy fields, rolling hills, and not to mention a secret beach. The perfect getaway for family from city life. Number 8. The Lo Intan State of Para. Telok Intan is the third largest town in Pera and only two and a half hours drive north of Kuala Lumpur. The Leaning Tower of Telok Intan, Malaysia's version of the Leaning Tower of Pizza, was built in 1885 for the purpose of storing water during the drought seasons. The tower is slanted leftward due to the underground stream four years after construction. Do take the Pulau Bangau Bird Sanctuary River Cruise you will be cruising along the Perak River exploring its rich habitat and experience the stunning views of thousands of resident and migratory birds returning during dusk and roosting on the island. It's more than what I thought. I've never seen so many birds and this natural habitat is like really really amazing. Do you have fun? Yes. Yes, we both had so much fun. And don't forget, when you're there, try out the colorful dessert of Telok Intan at the famous food stall called Hawaii to cool down a hot, hot day. Number 7. Sekinchan, State of Selangor Nestled in the north of Selangor, the town of Sekinchan is a tranquil fishing village located an easy one and a half hour drive from Kuala Lumpur. A hidden gem, it is long known for us Malaysian that this town has long cemented its position as a popular weekend trip destination, especially with family. Sakinchan is well known amongst us Malaysian too that it has the most productive rice harvest in the country due to its soil and rainfall. There's plenty to see, do and eat around here. Sip coffee in the famous bus cafe overlooking the beautiful, renowned paddy field of Sikinchan is one I highly recommend. I also managed to find a secret beach. 
off the beaten track. See if you can locate it. My ultimate Sakinchan experience is the private dinner at the Paddy Field hosted by Ninja Private Kitchen, voted by many to be the most romantic outdoor dining experience in Malaysia. I was spoiled with Teochew style seafood, fine cuisine while overlooking the Sakinchan sunset. This experience was truly priceless for me. Number six, Gundasang, state of Sabah. For this spot, I am flying you all the way to East Malaysia to the state of Sabah. Quiet and peaceful Gundasang is located in the Ranau district, three hours drive from the state capital of Kota Kinabalu. Situated at the foothill of the majestic Mount Kinabalu, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is relatively untouched by conventional tourism. Gundasang is surrounded by natural beauty, lush greenery, and exotic wildlife. Rolling green hills, blue skies, white fluffy clouds, cool climate, this town is full of campsites, hiking trails for those who love the outdoor. While you're there, visit the pouring hot spring and relax yourself in the natural hot tub in the open and take a stroll on the incredible long canopy walk high up in the Mornio rainforest. Let me tell you a secret, Kundasang is the best spot for paragliding. <laughs> this, is the, this is the best way to see Kundasang right now. The view is spectacular. You can see all the mountains of Kinabalu and it's just spectacular. This is the best way to see. Uh, we've been waiting for the wind to pick up for such a long time and finally it's picking up. It's fantastic. I highly recommend. Number 5. Kota Baru, state of Kelantan. Kota Baru, Malaysia's northernmost major city in the state of Kelantan, can often just be a blip on travelers' radar. This is a shame as there are plenty of activities in Kota Baru as it is the cradle of Malay culture. Speaking of shopping, you can do plenty of that at Kota Baru's central market, the city Khadija Market. A bustling hive of constant activities, the central market is a multi-story traditional market where locals gather looking for fresh produce. The city is just 50 kilometers from the Thai border and has a large Thai population. Visit the famous three Buddhas of Kota Baru, the Sitting Buddha, the Standing Buddha, and the Sleeping Buddha to experience the Thai culture and not to mention try out authentic Thai food. They come as good as they are in Thailand, believe me. Number 4, Moa, state of Johor. Moa is a historical town situated almost in the middle between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. The town of Moa is rich in history as mentioned in many historical records and archaeological works. It is believed that the history of Moa started much earlier than the Sultanate of Malacca. There were many accounts recorded about the early history of Moa. In 1361, it was claimed that Moa was a part of the Majapahit Empire. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Malaysia to be visited and explore for its food, coffee and historical pre-war buildings. It was recently declared as a royal town of Johor. One interesting little riverine adventure you can actually take in Moa would be the half an hour long Moa River cruise that departs from the Tanjong Emas Park, offering both locals and also curious tourists a little tour of Moa along the river. The cruise operates Friday to Sunday. Number 3, Gluang, state of Johor. We are staying put in Johor for our number 3 spot. In fact, the middle of Johor for which the town of Gluang is situated. Get ready as this town is probably the most yummy on my list. 
Avid foodies beware! Kluang could show you incredible food that you've been craving for a long time. Ranging from local delights to Western cuisines, there's an unlimited list of scrumptious you can find in Kluang. When you wake up, first thing in the morning is Haiki roast pork. It is so crispy and juicy, you will be screaming for more. Then off you go to get Dong Huat's confectionery Tao Sa Pia. You better hurry as they are sold out by 10 a.m. Each piece are handmade with no machine involved. Next up is Bota Curry Mi. Serve in just the right size with the best noodle broth you can imagine talking about spicing up your appetite. Also take a visit to the famous Guang Coffee Powder Factory. This factory has been supplying cafes all over Malaysia and Singapore with their famous TV brand coffee. If you had had coffee in Malaysia, it's probably from here. Mm. I'm ready to start my day. Number two, the silver spot goes to Sandakan, Sabah. Sandakan is the second biggest city in the state of Sabah. The city had been the state capital until 1946 when it was switched to Kota Kinabalu. The main reason to come to Sandakan is to check out the abundance of gorgeous rainforests and anyone who loves wildlife or bird watching should make sure not to give it a miss. Just some of the spots that you can visit as part of a trip to Sandakan includes the amazing Rainforest Discovery Center. This is one of the most unspoiled parts of Borneo. Take the Kinabatangan River Cruise. The Kinabatangan River has the claim to fame of being the second longest river in all of Malaysia and is another one of great jewels in Sabah's crown. The river stretches for some 560 kilometers and a river cruise is one of the best way to check out the wildlife here. As you float along the scenic waterway, you will be able to spot a huge number of wild animals including monkeys swinging from the tree next to you. I had my first encounter with the wild orangutan here. That was incredible. I mean, that sighting was just so incredible. I mean, seeing the orangutan in the wild, it just takes your breath away. <laughs> Number one most beautiful town in my opinion. Boys and girls, welcome to the town of Taiping here in the state of Para. Let me tell you why of all the towns in Malaysia, Taiping is at the top of my list and has definitely stolen my heart. Taiping is a charming old tin mining town here in Fera, three hours drive north of Kuala Lumpur. Voted as the third most sustainable city in the world in 2019 by International Tourism Berlin behind La Jubiliana of Slovenia and Vancouver of Canada. This is truly Malaysia's first urban town. Behind its rich heritage facade, historic gems abound in Taiping. Taiping holds many first record, including the first railway station ever built in Malaysia is right here. The oldest museum ever opened to the public is also right here in Taiping, not to mention the first zoo, the Taiping Zoo, which opened in 1961. And not to mention the first lake garden in Malaysia. Taiping Lake Garden is built on top of a mining site. During the British rule in Malaysia, there's a lot of iconic rain trees that are dramatically bent downwards towards the lake that makes walking around it a wonderful experience. This is the green lung of Taiping. For my next video, I am going to bring you all around Taiping to all the heritage and historical sites here in Taiping. But most of all, I'll also bring you to all the delicious food here in Taiping. So I'm sure you do not want to miss that. So boys and girls, that was my top 10. Top 10 most beautiful, charming, small town in Malaysia. I can think of a thousand reasons why you should visit all these small towns. 
For example, the accommodation and food prices are much, much cheaper than Kuala Lumpur. And these small towns, they are not built for mass tourism, which means they emphasize on ecotourism, which means there's lots of uh, lush green area for you to go and hike, lots of waterfalls, and most importantly, fresh, fresh air for you and your family to have that perfect getaway. So boys and girls, I hope you like this video. Please click like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. And I will see you in my next video of typing. Bye!